the Scarlet Lola Cooking Show. Welcome. Hello and welcome to the Scarlet Lola Cooking Show. So today we're making an onion pie, the German style onion pie with caraway seed. It's a little bit like a quiche, but less uh, soft, more cheesy, crispy, oniony, I'd say. So to make the dough, I've got 250 grams of flour. I've got the baking powder already in there. I've got my butter, water and salt. So I'm gonna make a dough with this. And then for the filling, I've got the onions here. I've got some more flour, uh, sour cream, butter and two to three eggs. I'm using two because they're quite big eggs. So I've already greased and lined my baking tin. If you want to see how to do this, um, the passion cake episode has got a good version of making a lining for a cake tin, but I'm sure you already know. So let's get cracking. This is 250 grams of flour and I've got my butter that I'm gonna work into it. I've washed my hands and I'm now gonna rub the butter into the flour. I will add in a tiny bit of garlic salt because I like the flavor it gives. And the water. Kneading dough is really fun if you let yourself enjoy the fact that you're going to be sticky all over. If you get somebody to pour some flour over your hands whilst you're kneading, it's a really easy way to get all the lumps of dough off your fingers and combine them into the dough mixture. In the end, you're going to end up with a very clean bowl. You'll be surprised. Beautiful. This is what the dough should look like. I'm now going to pack this dough into the cake tin and make a nice little edge so I can stretch it a little. And then I work it into the tin. This looks beautiful, so I'm going to put the tin aside now. I've got my biggest pot out and I'm going to put it on the cooker. I'm now going to chop six to eight onions into half moons. All of this will be fast forward as usual. A good trick for chopping onions, especially if you have to do a lot of onions, is to wet the board before you start chopping. Good, good, good. And all of this lovely onion peel is going to do really well in my compost. All of the chopped chopperie will be in fast forward as usual. I'm going to melt some butter in the pot that I'm going to fry the onion in. Low flame and as this is melting I'm going to chop the onions in fast forward. The onion has a long tradition as a healing ingredient. If you have an eye or ear infection, ear or toothache, you can put some very finely chopped onion into a piece of muslin and make it into a little sack to put on the affected organ to lessen the pain. I've tried this a few times and it did help me. For a runny nose, you can put an open cut onion on your bedside table overnight. It's supposed to help. Putting thin onion slices into a glass of warm water and drinking it may help bladder complaints. Also try onion slices on bee or wasp stings. Quite amazing actually. Onion has a high sulfur content and is good for the skin and the hair. And rubbing the head with onion slices is supposed to help hair loss. I believe that when I see it. In ancient Greece, onions were taken to the altar of Apollo as an offering. In ancient Egypt, the onion was a symbol for the moon. 
Right, that's the last of the onion going in the pot now. I'm now mixing a quarter litre of the cream, of the sour cream, with the flour, 60 grams I believe it was. And I put in two eggs. And giving this a really good mix through. And I'm now adding a tablespoonful of caraway seed. So this is the kind of consistency that you're looking for. When I grate cheese, I usually do the whole chunk because grated cheese is always good to have in the fridge. It, it's an Italian hard cheese that I've grated and this is going on top of the pie or quiche or whatever you want to call it. The onions are good now. So I'm going to put my egg and cream into the pot. Right, I'm going to scrape this out, get all the last bits out. This is looking very nice. I've poured the cream and caraway seed mix in, giving it a good mix through. I'm now going to fill it into the pie shell, see what happens. Big mess. You can even out the surface with a spatula. Right, so to finish it off, I'm gonna put some butter flakes on it. Three or four teaspoons will do nicely. And add some cheese on top. God, it's cheese day again. We've talked about salt before and cheese has got quite a lot of salt. So I did not put any extra salt in here. And into the oven it goes. Right, now I'm going to bake the pie 40 minutes at 180 degrees. Okay, so here it goes. The onion pie is ready. This onion pie was a really big hit. It's crusty brown on top and it's absolutely yummy. Mm. Just listen to that crunching sound. So this would be one way of eating this yummy onion pie. With some potatoes, parsley and courgette. The German traditional way of eating onion pie is with a salad and cider. Give it a go with Lolo. When you subscribe, you can get notifications so you'll know whenever there's a new show.